y a p a p a s a The Seattle Times. Twin County Council weighs plan to raise property taxes to aid child services. Y i l i n g yet n i n tat yut yi sab yat yat Jessica Lee source. The Seattle Times, July yi sab yat. Twin County leaders are expected to approve and send to the November ballot a measure to raise property taxes and pump more money into childhood development services. That the plan is based on prevention research. And the notion that boosting early intervention healthcare programs with a subsidy sent levy per may u n i t i n of assist property value will yield greater returns in the long run. After months of discussion and hours of public testimony Monday, the Metropolitan King County Council will give its final review this week. There are a lot of human services and public health challenges that would be reduced if people were able to get off to the best start. Said King County Executive Dow Constantine, who proposed the six-year levy that's projected to generate about a million some bucks of yen million in total revenue. That the proposal isn't program specific, and council members are in the process of fine-tuning its funding breakdown. County leaders are grappling with a growing public health deficit. Projected to total m a y u n t a s a p m i l l i o n by 2021, due to increasing labor costs and inflation, the measure would fill a portion of the gap, deeping funding for some maternal and family planning services at existing levels. That the proposal, called Best Starts for Kids, s t i s the public debate about whether to find other ways to cover the county's impending budget problems instead of putting the burden on residents. The levy would add about m a y u n s a p l o in property taxes per year for the next six years for the owner of a m a y u n s a s a p m a n home, according to King County figures. Public health leaders behind the campaign point to research that shows that by enhancing assistance for early intervention programs, agencies will deal with lower amounts of chronic health problems, crime, and child abuse. Half of the levy's projected total is set aside for supporting services for children before the age of mm, specifically prenatal programs. By increasing expecting mothers' access to and quality of care, supporters say hospitalization costs would shrink and newborns would be at lower risk of developing learning deficits. Early work with pregnant women, children under the age of mm, puts youth on the better path. Twin County Council Member Joe McDermott said, and they'll have less interaction with the county's services later on. Public health leaders also are aiming to eliminate racial disparities among mothers receiving adequate prenatal care and students being sufficiently prepared for starting school, according to a report the Metropolitan King County Council is considering. About a sub y percent of white pregnant women receive the prenatal services they need. Compared to say up y percent of native Hawaiian Pacific Islander moms, this proposal aims to raise the average amount overall to a sub five percent. Also, American Indian, Native Hawaiian, and Hispanic students are the least ready for kindergarten, especially in mathematics, according to the report. Best starts for kids allocate about million sub go million for homelessness prevention and additional aid for schools to combat issues. Such as childhood obesity and behavior problems, by implementing mandatory screening and improving caregivers' access to outside help, we want schools to be able to, in early stages, identify kids that look like they are starting to have mental illness problems or maybe substance abuse problems, and that there will be resources to help with that," said Director Patty Hayes of Public Health. See a told up King County, air in the Bowdera of Fairwood. n e r e n t o n is a home c l a n d community advocate. She is skeptical of the tax levy and how the cost would affect her middle class family. She said she's made sacrifices to ensure her teenage children have access to the services they need, and though she supports the plan's goals, she's unsure how her family would benefit. It sounds innovative in the long run, but residents. Don't know exactly how it will help, she said. h a r r y a n s h a n s k a University of California, Davis professor who specializes in state and local tax policy, said theoretical evidence suggests that if the right investments are made to improve local services and facilities, 
Raising the property tax at the county level is generally an effective way to generate revenue. If officials spend the money wisely, then you actually increase property values for those same people who pay the tax, he said. Planning to determine the specific crops to receive funding will move forward in the coming months with homelessness prevention and early childhood care programs at the top of the discussion, Hayes said. A task force will decide other amounts if voters approve the measure in November, she said, and the department is hoping to release the funding to selected organizations this fall. It really is to everyone's benefit for us to do a level of investment in prevention, Hayes said, so that everyone's child can succeed to their maximum. Jessica Lee, Julie L.C. to Times Come More Healing Lo, Say Lo, Say, Yin Sam Yi, on Twitter now Jessica Tetley Copyright, C, Yi Tin Ling Yes at the Seattle Times Visit the Seattle Times at WWWC Till Times Come Distributed by Tribune Content Agency, LLC.